Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, so this video was another request from you people, so thank you so much. This week I am taking the request of someone who wanted to know about the military ball. And I just went on it this past week. Here's the picture. Aren't we beautiful? So we went on the military ball and it was so great. Like so, so great. And I am so excited that I went and just got to share that memory with him. But it did come with some stress. Uh, because I'm a woman and stressing is what we do. I stressed out a little bit before. So I just want to share with y'all my experience and share with y'all um, what happened and how you can better prepare for it and stuff like that. So the only reason that I knew about it was because of a Facebook page. I had no idea about it. My husband didn't know about it. I knew about it because of a Facebook page. But anyways, I found it. So wherever you are right now or after this video, Google when your next ball is going to be. And every state has its own date. Um, and then every, like, Navy, Air Force, stuff like that. They have their own little party. And so this one was Navy in San Diego. And so it was, it was November 8th. And, um, which happens to be me and Connor's one year and five month anniversary. <laughs> Anyways, so it was that day. And before it, I had to find a dress. So that was one of the hardest things because I'm so picky and I feel like there's not a lot of dress, dress options um, that aren't like skimpy or too tight or, you know, just stuff like that. I feel like I can't really find any that are elegant. And so I went to the internet. One thing or one place that I suggest everybody go first is lulus.com and I can put that at the bottom but they are probably the greatest in the entire world. Like, I'm obsessed with them, and I love them. So, lulus.com is where you can find your dress. One thing that I noticed when I read up on the military ball, and then I actually got to the military ball, is when I read, off, ugh, when I read up on it, a lot of older wives were saying, this isn't prom, ladies, young women... It's not prom and I slightly got offended by that because I went to college I was in a sorority I went to formals my last memory is not prom it's an elegant formal with my sorority sisters so I was like okay rude but when I went to the military ball I noticed that some of the women did look a little bit prommy and what I'm what I mean by that is the bedazzled like thing right here or a bedazzled strap or you know the bedazzled stuff bedazzled it's out get something more elegant women-y mature you know not those big bling things that are on like a shoulder thing it's really weird so just tip number one don't get bling just get something very elegant in my opinion doesn't have to be yours just a suggestion you can get whatever you want there you go. Second, for my shoes. Shoes was so hard because I'm picky and I just want the hottest thing out there and I don't want anything expensive, below $20, but hot at the same time. So it was very hard. But another tip and another place, I went to charlotteroofs.com or you can go to the actual store, Charlotte Roofs. And I would suggest doing all of this like a month in advance. I said I was going to do it a month in advance and I didn't. So do that because then you get like freaked out and oh no, like what if this doesn't work? Luckily, I bought shoes that I wanted that would be so hot with the dress. But then they ended up not being as hot. And luckily, I already had a pair of shoes that I could substitute. So it just all worked out. But usually it doesn't work that way. So... Just be prepared to have like a backup or do this stuff in advance. After you have your dress and your shoes and they fit nicely, you get them altered and everything, um, makeup. I was going to make a makeup tutorial. I even 
started making my makeup tutorial, but I'm so bad at makeup tutorials that it was cut. It was cut. Uh, because it was terrible. So, <laughs> you don't get to see my makeup for that evening, but I do my makeup the same exact every single time. I'm not really wearing that much makeup today, so don't reference it on this, but... I do the same makeup almost every single day, and so I did the same exact makeup, except a little bit darker, and I put fake eyelashes on, which didn't last because I hate fake eyelashes. I don't know how people do it. <sighs> They're terrible. So, anyways, figure out your makeup, what you want to do, experiment, and if you like that, if you don't, if you look beautiful naturally, then I would say just do light makeup and get on out there. But don't stress out about it because it's going to be a magical night for you and your bae. And don't worry about anybody else. Don't wor worry what they're wearing or, you know, what if other people think my dress is ugly. Who cares what they think, you know? So don't worry about it. So anyways, after dress, shoes, makeup, it's time to go to the ball. And the mistake, well, back up. One of the mistakes that I and my husband made was I just assumed he already knew what he was wearing, but he he didn't. So make sure you read exactly what he's wearing and then let him know so that he can have everything prepared. My husband needed to make sure his shoes were good, his hat was good, which he didn't even need, his medals were good, his blues were good. He needed to make sure everything were good, steamed, nice, beautiful, everything. And that's how most military guys are. They like to be clean and nice because, well, at least my husband does. So if your husband is that way, make sure you tell him in advance so he's well prepared. So now you're ready to go to the ball. So the way the ball works, or at least ours, is you get there and there's a cocktail hour. So, you know, the drinking and the casual conversations and everything. And a time to take pictures outside. And so everybody takes pictures outside and then they all bring you in for the beginning of it. So everybody takes their seats and you have assigned seats. Once you um, purchase your ticket, you have to pick your seats that you want. And you go to your seat and you sit with other random people and you can make friends with them. You cannot make friends with them. It doesn't matter, <laughs> you know. So just like have this lovely... You just have this lovely evening with, you know, you, your significant other, and then other people at your table. And then at the beginning, the man starts to talk. He talks about, you know, how great America is, how great the Navy is, how great our um, armed forces are. He talks about how great everything is. He makes a speech. And then there are other speeches followed by that. You sing the national anthem, you sing the Navy song or whatever song that the place you're in, it's for, you sing that song, and then they bring out the courses. And we had, um, we had meat, some kind of meat. I cannot recall the meat, but we had meat, and we had mashed potatoes, which are my two favorite things in the entire world. So we had that. And then we had, oh, first we had salad, and then we had meat. So salad and meat. And then the last thing we had was a dessert, which I wasn't a fan of. But anyway, so the meal is about an hour long, um, maybe longer, depending how fast you or slow you eat. So it's all up to you. But then around 8.39 is when they cut the cake. They cut the actual, like the cake that everybody's going to have. Um, and so that's nice. And then afterwards, the DJ comes on and plays some jams. So the DJ comes on, and this is a DJ, most likely, that is a person from the military. So he's not like an actual DJ, so he's not super great, but he's good. Because there were some songs that were like, you can't dance to this, you can't dance to this song. And I love to dance, but sometimes I was like, what do you do to this? I don't, I don't know what to do. So, but it's just fun, like, getting to experiment with different dance moves because you don't know. Um, so just my overall take in it was just, it was so, so great. And 
I left with my feet hurting. I didn't take my shoes off um, and I was in heels and it was terrible. Ugh. I don't recommend it, but if your dress is too long and you can't take off your heels and obviously you have to stick it out um, or wear wedges, <laughs> that's a pretty good idea, wear wedges. Um, but overall, it was really great and just take as many pictures as you can, but don't get too overwhelmed with pictures. Um, I know I did and some of the time I was like, I just need to be in the moment. I was going to take a video, but I just wanted to be in the moment and not be videoing everything and stuff like that. So um, just be in the moment and just there's going to be picture opportunities that cost $15. I recommend those. I didn't want to at first, but it's just a memory um, that's going to last forever. So overall, don't stress about it. Um, if you're about to go to a military ball, um, it's really, really fun. And you're just going to have memories for the rest of your life. So again, be in the moment and don't stress about it. Get everything in advance. Anyways, that's the end of my video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Next week, I am going to do another video that was requested by someone. Um, so I really hope you all tune in and subscribe to my channel as always. And I love you people for always returning to my channel, even though sometimes I ramble and talk about nothing. So just thank you so much. I love y'all and I will see y'all next week.